It was nearly two decades ago when a teenager from Wisconsin became the first known survivor of rabies who did not receive a life-saving vaccination. Many viewers may remember Gina Giese's story, but it has a new chapter we're excited to share. NBC26's Eric Kress shows us why she has a lot to be thankful for. You can chalk it up to luck, advancements in science, or just a loving team that was constantly in her corner. But one thing is for certain, Gina Giese no is fortunate to be alive. It's gonna be 17 years this September, and 17 years ago, I never would have guessed that I would be here. At just 15 years old, Giese was bitten by a bat, contracted rabies, and doctors told her she had a slim chance Ooh. of finding out how her life story would be written. Basically, they told my parents, you can let her die here at the hospital, or you can take her home and let her die. Or we can try this experiment. We don't know if it's going to work, but we want to put her in a coma. Gizzi was put into an induced coma for two weeks. Feeding and breathing tubes kept her alive while her body fought off the infection. And when she woke, almost nothing was the same. I was basically a 15-year-old newborn. I couldn't talk, I couldn't move my arms, I couldn't walk, um, couldn't sit up on my own. The road to recovery for the teenager would last for years. I just kept pushing myself. The support from her family, community, and strangers alike helped her achieve a high school diploma, a bachelor's degree, and the confidence that she had nearly lost through the hardships. Having everyone believing in me helped me to believe in myself. After achieving her educational goals, Giese's competitive side started emerging, and she got heavily involved in sled dog racing. I have never lost my my sense of loving nature and animals. Um, even with what happened to me, I still, you know, animals are a huge chunk of my life. Additionally, Gizzi found herself pursuing another once unimaginable goal, walking down the aisle and starting a family. I wouldn't have my husband, I wouldn't have my kids, I wouldn't have my dogs. This young woman, who was once expected not to make it to her 16th birthday, now has a husband and three healthy kids, a beautiful home in the Fox Cities, and the memories of a fulfilled life, all because she never stopped pushing herself. There was, you know, many times when I wanted to give up and just stop trying. I don't know what's going to happen in another 10 years, another 20 years, but I'm excited to see. In the Fox Cities, Eric Crest, NBC 26. Beautiful success story, full circle. Eric, thank you.